Hi guys, good morning. I'm back again to share with you a talk that I finished recently from a Birder magazine. It's uh, from the Birder December 2015 issue and it's a pretty, what I like to call an epic sleeve top because I just love this epic bishop sleeve. Let me show you what it looks like standing up. See, it's got a really a Victorian style feel to it when I'm wearing it. It's got this lovely roll neck over here. It's got princess seams, shoulder princess seam lines, and it has these extended dramatic cuffs and the billowy bishop sleeve. Now, the sleeve cap was much puffier than this but I did not like that look on me. I just thought it was a bit too much because it really does puff out. There's a lot of gathering on there. So I had to unpick it and then just I reduced the sleeve cap by about two inches in order to get it um, just like that, which I think is subtle enough to, um, to work for me. I went for view B of this pattern, which goes down to the hip. And looking back on it, I actually think that this pattern would make a really great dress if you just add like a peplum band to that and I think I'll definitely try that um, one of these days when I get around to it but yeah I just I love the look of it and it's something that I'll be wearing a lot with my pencil skirts my neat pencil skirts um, but yeah I finished it finished the hems with a zigzag stitch and everything else was just overlocked. Now the braided instructions weren't too bad on this particular pattern because it was a sewing course and if you get braided magazines you know that they'll go through step by step step by step pictures with illustrations and instructions for one particular pattern and for the December 2015 issue this was the pattern that they did it for but they ask you to interface all of the seam lines which I didn't do because I didn't think it was necessary my fabric is a pointy knit which I think is stable enough to you know to not stretch out especially if you're using it with an overlocker so I didn't do that um, so yeah apart from those two changes where I ignored interfacing the seam lines and I reduced the sleeve cap by two inches those are the only changes I made I cut a size 38 and it fits me perfectly and I'm very very happy with this I'll definitely make another one and I'll add a peplum band at the bottom to make it a dress because I think it would be super cute um, as a dress. Okay, so that's it. I did promise a super quick post today and I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the review, then please hit the like button down below and I will catch you guys later. Bye!